sweet and spicy Korean flavored glaze and wings so crunchy. I mean, just listen to this. Listen to that crunch. Ah, and the flavor. Mm. These are my Korean fried chicken wings. Okay guys, I cannot even with these wings. They are so freaking good. Like they get so crispy, like glass shatteringly crispy. And then you put the glaze on, but they still stay really crispy. I mean, they're just, they're so good. And <laughs> they're actually really easy to make. Couple of little techniques though, we gotta get right just to get that earth shattering crispiness. So let's get going on the wings first of all. Ah, oh, this one is so exciting. Ah, oh, can't wait. Um, all right, salt. We wanna salt our wings and you want like a generous amount of salt here. A lot of the salt kind of falls off. So I want like a really well seasoned wing here. And just a little bit of pepper. And then just give these a mix. Really get in there with your hands. Make sure that salt is giving some love to each little wing in there. Right, just let that seasoning work its magic just while we get everything else ready. And now for the glaze. So this is a soy based glaze, so I want some soy sauce. And some sugar. Some apple cider vinegar. I kind of like the apple cider vinegar because it adds a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit more interest to the sauce, but just regular white vinegar would be fine as well. And now here comes the spicy. So I'm using some Korean gochujang chili paste. Looks like this guy in the red tub. I go through so much of this stuff. It has like a, well, it's a fermented chili paste. So you get the spicy, but then you get an, an additional like salty savoriness that really kind of boosts the flavor of anything you're adding it to. And now some hot mustard as well. And we're gonna add a really intense garlic kind of hit to this one as well. So I wanna grate in three cloves. And for those of you who know me well enough by now on my channel, there's always more spice you can add. So I'm gonna add a little bit more dried red chili. This one is like an optional, but it kind of infuses that sauce with a little bit more kick. Now you just need to cook this for a couple of minutes just until everything's dissolved. And that's it, we can leave that alone until we're ready to glaze our wings. All right, so let's get back to the crispy wing part. And what I wanna do here is get my wings into some corn flour. Now, corn flour is what we call corn starch outside of the US, so just to uh, clear up any confusion there. You could also use potato starch as well. The corn flour or potato starch gives a really light coating uh, and makes everything really crispy, much lighter than all purpose flour here. So definitely go with either of those options and make sure you're tapping off the excess. I don't want these wings to be super floury or to have too much of a coating on the outside. I just want a really thin, very crispy layer on the outside. All right, so let's work some magic here now. I'm just gonna test my oil, and what I want is some nice little active bubbles around that chopstick. Now, chicken pieces go in. So we're gonna fry this chicken twice, and the double fry is going to give us that extra, extra crispiness that we're after. And there's a couple of little things here. So one, I'm gonna do something that I'm constantly telling you guys not to do, and that is I'm just gonna overcrowd my pan here because uh, this chicken is gonna cook for this first fry for 20 minutes. And I actually don't want the oil that hot. So putting all the chicken in at once and letting it go kind of keeps the temperature not too hot. So there is method to the madness, everyone. Now I just like to keep the chicken moving every so often. And yeah, 20 minutes. Make yourself a cup of tea. Check your Instagram. Probably not enough time to watch something on Netflix, but you know, I'm sure you can find something to do. All right, these guys are looking good. They're a kind of like pale golden color. 
but the real thing that we've done here is kind of expelled all of that moisture that's in the chicken and prepping them for the, like the extra crispy second fry. So anyway, get these draining on a paper towel. And again, what I'm trying to do is remove as much moisture as possible, hence the paper towel. And while I'm waiting for that chicken to kind of drain and dry out a little, I'm gonna just clean up my oil here, scoop out any little bits and pieces. All right, now just wait for that oil to heat up again ever so slightly. And now chicken back into the oil for their extra crispy bath this time. This is where we're going for color as well. And now we need to exercise a little more patience. We're nearly there guys, 10 minutes until these guys are like so super deluxe crispy. All right, so this chicken is looking pretty delightful right now. Uh, let's get it out. And this time I'm gonna get them out onto a baking rack that's gonna make it easier for me to glaze these babies. Look at that golden color and then listen to this sound. That's just like the most incredible kind of music you could ever hear. Crispy wing music, my favorite. All right, let's do some glazing here, guys. Now this glaze is super intense, so I just need a nice light little layer of that sweet and spicy goodness. Now turn them over and get both sides. Jeez, these wings have gotten some love today, haven't they? All right, most loved wings in the world. And now a little smattering of sesame seeds. out onto a serving plate. And there you go guys, like the crispiest wings you've ever tried, honestly. And they'll sit around and maintain their crispiness. Like, it's just like a magical wing. It's a magic wing. Let me, let me see, I'll test it out and let you know. Mm. Listen to that crunch. Ah. And the flavor, mm. like just a hint of that beautiful spiciness, but then like sweet and tangy as well. Ah. Mm. I mean, I can't even deal with these. They are just so good, amazing. Mm.